Proper ratings are pool player ratings that rate everybody worldwide on the same scale. A practical understanding of Fargo ratings requires you know something about what the ratings themselves mean. What is a 350? What does it mean to play at 600 speed? It also requires you know how to interpret rating differences. What does it mean that another player plays 50 points higher than you? We address the first of these here. I will relate these numbers to strength of play in a number of different ways with the hopes that one or more of the approaches is useful to any particular listener. The vast majority of pool players, including casual players, league players, and players who play in local, regional, and national tournaments, are rated between 200 and 700. So let's begin by talking about the unusual people on either end. So expanding out the scale at the high end, we can say once again that there's only a handful of people above 800 in the world. There's one U.S. player and two European players, for example. Going down to 770 or so, we pretty much encompass the U.S. and European Moscone Cup teams. These are chosen five-member teams from the U.S. and Europe that battle off annually. Going down to 750, we're still at top pros, maybe top 30 in the U.S., top 40 on the Euro Tour. And getting down to 700 or so, we pretty much encompass all credible, professional, or open-level players. What about the other end? We found a random group of males and females who had no experience and no particular inclination to learn pool, who picked it up because of a social opportunity. They learned the rules, played for maybe 50 hours, and played in a casual pool league. They range in rating now from about minus 40 to 200, and a rating of 130 to 150 is typical. We analyzed some of the divisions of the BCA Pool League National 8-Ball Championship Tournament from last year. This has been called the greatest pool tournament in the world. There are a ton of different divisions, and it's open to anybody. Uh, what we did is looked at the rating of the median player in several different divisions. So in the men's open division, for instance, if there were 1,000 players, this would be the rating of the 500th player. That rating is 544 for the men's open division. And here are the median ratings for some of the other divisions in that tournament. Arizona has probably the most extensive qualitative rating scheme, and this is the approximate correspondence between Arizona ratings and Fargo ratings. Note that a 6 and under tournament in Arizona would be about a 450 and under Fargo rating tournament, and an 8 and under tournament would be about a, maybe a 580 or a 600 and under Fargo rating tournament. Las Vegas and Oklahoma have similar rating schemes where the boundaries are about the same. Though it's not clear what is their consistency across regions and cities, the APA American Pool Player Association 8-Ball Ratings look about like this. Minnesota, or the Midwest Pool Player Association, MPA, has an extensive qualitative rating scheme where the boundaries look about like this. North Dakota, Wisconsin, and Washington, D.C. have been running local data, uncoupled versions of Fargo ratings that do not do the global optimization. These regions will now be coupled together and coupled to the rest of the world, and individual players may see a small shift in their rating. Finally, the east coast of the U.S., or the northeast in particular, refer to letter ratings that mean something very different from what they do in the Midwest. A B in Rhode Island is very different from a B in Minnesota. A 6 in the APA is very different from a 6 in Arizona. Fargo Ratings solves these problems by rating everybody worldwide together on the same scale. Here's another measure you might be able to relate to. What percentage of your eight ball wins are determined first time at the table? So either you broke and ran out or you got out first time your opponent let you to the table. These are from league data on seven foot diamond tables. So for players under about 300, it basically never happens. For a player rated 450, it happens in 11% of his wins. Now these are percentages of wins. If that player wins 50% of his games, that 450 rated player would be running out or getting out five or six percent of the games. So I hope this has been a helpful introduction to what the Fargo rating numbers actually mean. One advantage of Fargo ratings is that a 364 in Eugene, Oregon means exactly the same thing as a 364 in Hamden, Connecticut. If you haven't done so yet, I encourage you to watch the video on what the rating differences mean.